Hello guys, it's me Jeff, I'm here to give you another video, and yes, yes, the character description videos are back. I finally made a new one, and oh boy, it's been a long time, and I hope I remember how to do this. But yeah, today's character, we're going to learn about Cassidy, and my very first female character I ever, I ever created. So, uh, let's now uh, learn more about her. Sacre bleu! Let's talk about uh, Cassidy. <laughs> Cassidy is the very first female friend Jeff and Taylor made. Cassidy uh, first met Jeff and Taylor in fourth grade. She would hang around them during recess, trying to get their attention, uh, kind of like a little stalker. And when she did catch their attention, she would just run away. When they asked her why she's always stalking them, she answered because she has a crush on Taylor. Ah. Alas, Taylor didn't like the idea of a strange girl liking him, so he rejected her. She was a bit sad at first, but then she played some kickball with the boys, and that's how they met. And they've been friends ever since. Now, about Cassidy as a person, well, she is a French gal. Her father is from France, while her mother is from Quebec, Canada. The two of them moved to Somerville, you know, her parents, uh, a long time ago, for the job opportunities. And uh, they got married there, and that's where Cassidy was born. Cassidy can speak English and French fluently. And it's uh, kind of weird that Cassidy is a... Uh, I've looked it up, Cassidy is a Irish name. Not really a French name, so I, th I guess they just like the name Cassidy, so they just named her that. So, it's pretty. It's a pretty name. Now, uh, with the personality, uh, Cassidy is also the type of girl who is most likely to have a panic attack when she's in trouble. She hates getting in trouble. She just wants a simple life where everybody doesn't want to cause drama. Because drama is stupid, and you shouldn't have that much drama in your life as a middle schooler. Leave it to high school, you know. She's also a worry wart, a worry wart, excuse me, and a paranoid parent. In the series, she quickly became friends with Jane. In fact, they're best friends who love to do things together like slumber parties, uh, talking about girl problems, and getting into trouble, like Jeff and Taylor. But Cassie doesn't like that because she hates trouble. Now, what are her likes and dislikes? Now. Cassidy, as, as you can tell with the whole theme of, uh, of, of uh, however I draw her, she loves music. In fact, music is her passion and everything. Uh, she, she likes to play instruments. Uh, her favorite instrument to play is the saxophone. Uh, of course, she also plays uh, piano, uh, the accordion, um, uh, woodwind instruments like the clarinet and flute. Uh, she also likes to play some brass instruments like the um, trombone and and trumpet and tuba. Uh, she isn't really that into uh, string instruments like violins. I mean, the only string instrument she ever plays is the piano. That's it. But yeah, she is more of the traditional um, uh, band, you know, brass band and everything. Oh, and how can I forget the other... Uh, brass instrument that she likes to play is the French horn. Of course. Uh, yeah, music. She, she also loves to sing. You know, she has a great singing voice and uh, she has a, she has a, um, she, she has a keen notion of, uh, of key and all that. So she, she's never off key or anything like that. She, she likes to tune everything. Her voice and her instruments. Fruits. She loves to eat fruits and vegetables. In fact, she is the inventor of the fruit sandwich, which is like cutting up slices of bananas and and strawberries and, and maybe some grapes here and there and put it in two um, slices of bread and add some uh, strawberry syrup in there and eat it. It's a fruit sandwich. Are you serious? I'm pretty sure it's it's, it's been made somewhere else, but Cassidy is, is the one within the whole group to actually make that and eat it. She's the only one who eats it. Because everybody else thinks it's weird and nasty. Cause because it is. You know, fruit and bread don't mix. That's so, so strange. I mean, she loves fruits and vegetables, but when it comes to meat, um, 
she eats meat. I mean, Cassidy isn't the stereotypical uh, vegetarian character. The, you know, the vegetarian hippie character that exists in almost every comedy. Uh, you know, she, she eats meat once in a while. Like, she eats beef jerky and uh, roast beef and fish. You know, fish is healthy for you. Uh, she eats, you know, roast beef whenever she has the French dip sandwich, you know. Wonderful sausage meat. What else? What, what, what are things that she like? Uh, she loves kids, you know. Babysitting is one of her jobs that, that she likes to do. Yeah, so there will be an episode about that, and it's going to be a doozy. Jeff and Taylor and Cassidy babysitting some kids. Uh, she likes hot boys because, uh, you know, girls... So girls like her, like Cassie, like hot boys and like to do, uh, like to imagine stuff about them. Like, Cassidy is the type of girl who loves yaoi fan fiction. <laughs> she loves yaoi, you know? It's like, it's like, I, I, I don't know, the notion of two hot boys kissing each other is like, it, it excites her or something like that. What? I mean, there has to be a girl like that somewhere. I know a lot of girls are like that. I mean, in the internet, of course. Uh, she likes gum, as stated in episode four, when she's talking to the blind chef. <laughs> uh, <coughs> excuse me. Watermelon flavored gum, to be specific. That's her favorite flavor, watermelon. And yeah, what else does she like? Oh, well, she likes France. She likes her home country. Well, even though she hasn't. Uh, she wasn't born there or anything. She visited one time or twice in France and Quebec. She loves French stuff and she claims that people hate uh, France and all that. I mean, France is so misunderstood by, you know, Americans and all that and Westerners in general. Okay. Uh, what are her dislikes? Oh, well, she hates snakes. She is afraid of snakes. She hates liver. As in, you know, the food liver that's, uh, you know, disgusting and you know, the texture and everything. She hates getting in trouble, as as already uh, stated. She hates wars, guns, you know, anything violent. You know, she is that hippie liberal. Uh, uh, but not that, but not too hippie, you know. She doesn't like soda because, you know, it's not that healthy for you. Soda. In fact, I'm drinking soda right now while I'm uh, recording this. Uh, she doesn't like fast food because it's fattening and unhealthy. It clogs her arteries. She loves fruit and vegetables. I don't know. She likes to be healthy. And she also hates busty girls because that's one thing about Cassidy. Uh, she, in deep inside, she wishes that she has a curvy body and, a, and and bigger boobs and all that because she's she she actually hates her petite frame. And every time she sees um, a West End girl uh, character, like uh, Jennifer or Lily, she just wants to yell at them, you know, saying, that she, Oh, you're so lucky. I hate you. And all that. Yeah, she is that type of girl. So, uh, now that I'm done with her dislikes, let's uh, talk about how I created her. Well, it was a long time ago, back when Jeff was a Pokemon trainer. I was about 11 years old, and I decided I want to make a female character, a female po a po a Pokemon trainer that would uh, hang around, hang around with Jeff. And this happened the event. This happened after Jeff became a Pokemon master, after he defeated his uh, uh, rival David. You know, David from Jeff and Taylor. David. He was the champion, just like you know the the final battle in uh, Pokemon Red and Blue. He defeated David, and after that. He, uh, Jeff moved into a house, and all that became rich and famous, and then that's where he met Cassidy, the girl who, um, who was a Pokemon trainer and everything, and also a singer. <clears throat> and yeah, I, I basically got her design from, uh, the, that, sh that, the Pokemon movie, uh, Pokemon 2000. If you remember, there's a character named Melody in the very beginning with, uh, uh, a green beret and sunglasses and all that, and she looks like Cassidy, <laughs> I mean, that's where most of the design came from. That's where the sunglasses and beret came from. It's from that character, Melody. And so that's how Cassidy was made. And after a while, I made a Cassidy into a, a little um, character. Um, it's, it's like she's not a Pokemon trainer anymore. I turned her into a famous pop star. 
that Jeff and Taylor made friends with. But then I uh, scrapped that and actually made Cassidy into a aspiring uh, music artist. So yeah, there you have it. That's Cassidy. Cassidy in a nutshell. In this one, a 10 minute video. So yeah, there you have it guys. Um, character description video done of Cassidy. And next will be... I'm trying to do... Um, I think I'm going to make uh, Lemon's, uh, Cass uh, t Lemon's character in-depth character, character description video. H have I been saying character in-depth? Because that's wrong. Character description video. Okay. Next will be Lemon. And then after that will probably be G Gloria. And don't forget the villain descriptions. I got to do Sam. You know. And there you have it, guys. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Cassidy. I hope you like her, and she likes you too. Okay, JFM out. Bye. Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I just said, but whatever. <laughs>